Hi you guys, welcome back to another first impression review video for the big four, or if you look at this thing, the big seven. Who knows how many there are now, but um, the Vogue Summer, Vogue Summer Patterns just dropped. Um, it's a little bit confusing because the other pattern drops from last week and the week before were all spring. So nobody knows what season it is over there. But regardless, we've got a new collection of Vogue patterns. I am still looking for a pattern for um, the sew along. I have been so uninspired. It needs to be uh, something that is size inclusive and also does not already include a sew along. So if you see anything in here that you think is suitable that you'd want to learn how to make, let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go back a season, maybe even to last year to find something else. But let me know if you can think of anything that you want some help with. Okay, the first one here is a Mrs. Dress in two lengths with a belt, fitted, lined dress with length variations, has side front seams on skirt, thread loops, side seam pockets, invisible back zipper, left side front slit and baby hems. View A has contrast inset. Dress includes matching belt with covered buckle. Okay, this is um, a kind of like a tried and true um, silhouette for Vogue. I remember, oh, I don't know, 2018 maybe? They did that one with the super deep V that everybody and their brother was making. Um, this one does have the modesty panel, which, okay, I get that that's helpful, but the execution has to be spot on with your skin tone. Granted, this is a fit model. They had no idea what her skin tone was going to be coming in. Um... So, you know, you can see it on her, but I would assume that if you're doing it yourself, you're going to try and get a pretty close match. I'm also kind of surprised they didn't offer a solution that wasn't sheer, um, just to show, you know, the versatility of it. You don't have, even have to, it, I mean, the modesty can be 100% modest or, you know, just a little bit or none at all. I'm sure you can leave it open too. But anyways, it has this halter design. I feel like we're seeing a bunch of halter tops this season. Um, this one does have like a pleat detail at the neckline. You come down. I'd like to see without the belt to see, is it elastic? Is it just gathered there? What's happening? Um, and then you have this really, really deep slit. It even looks deeper on the maxi version. They said baby hems, but that looks like a pretty substantial hem to me. This one, well, I don't know. I don't know what's happening there. Um, maybe it's just baby hems on the slit and then the dress hem has a one inch hem. I don't know. Okay, so that's the fronts. It really is the same dress in two lengths. That's the only difference. It is really beautiful. You have a center back zipper and then back waist darts and then a whole bunch of gathering through here which I'm assuming that's gathering and not elastic. And also you can barely, barely see on her, but it is a bit long waisted. The seam of the skirt is actually hitting at the bottom of the belt. The belt is sitting at her natural waist. So this whole seam needs to be moved up to where the middle of this belt is at the very least, maybe even the top of the belt would be appropriate. Um, Vogue is kind of known for really long, um, long patterns like the length of them being really long because I don't know it's like more like fashiony maybe I don't know why I don't even the models you, you gotta imagine these models are like 5 10 or taller and even they're too long for them so I'm always having to like um, shorten my Vogue patterns but okay so this is the same description um okay so it looks like only a has the inset B does not. Um, and then a version for C, I think, would be to have the contrast not be sheer. Um, they're recommending crepe back satin, crepe de sheen, matte jersey. That would be really fun. I think you could even do it out of like an ITY and that would be really pretty. You just have to, you know, be careful with the fit. Um, and then novelty shears. And then for the contrast in A, they're recommending chiffon? That doesn't seem right. A was definitely a sheer of some kind. It wasn't chiffon, I don't think. Um, and then it's lined, at least partially. Um, lightweight fusible interfacing. There, And then you make like a full-on belt. Um, you have to find some synthetic leather and then make the belt from there. 
Um, sizing is 6 to 14 and then 16 to 24. That translates to a finished waist, because that's the most fitted part here, of either of 25 inches up to 40 and a half. So um, it doesn't look like Vogue, unless they offer a women's pattern, um, is going to be all that size inclusive um, this season either. They have not quite caught on. But, I mean, this is only our first pattern, so let me, you know, stand corrected still. Um, we need an invisible zipper, three hooks and eyes, and one buckle to cover. And if we look at these line drawings, line drawings, you can see that it is a gathered skirt into a uh, bodice with also under bust gathers. So there's no elastic in there. It's just a gathered dress. It's like a fit to flare, deep V, halter situation. Okay. Not bad for the first start. Not revolutionary in terms of like style and design, but um, cute, summery, resort. I can definitely see um, that being a really beautiful dress to make. This one is a Mrs. Top Skirt and Pants. Close fitting, lined, fully interfaced, fully interfaced bra. Well, that certainly does take the breathability out of it, right? I guess you, if you got the woven interfacing from um, Heat and Bond, which is like my all time favorite, um, it's woven. It's not papery, it's more woven. Maybe that would be a little bit more breathable. I don't know. Um, sweetheart neckline, bands, front darts, separating back zipper. Flared skirt has raised waist, facings, invisible back zipper with hook and eye closure, and stitched hem with horsehair braid. I mean, they're going in on the finishing details. Pants has fly front zipper, closure, and back well pockets. So, um, basically, you can see the style lines of the top here. Um, you have, like, these sewn-on bands. These are kind of difficult to sew. Um, then again, it is Vogue. I got to remember that we're looking at the more advanced sewist here. But you have this little harnessy looking detail, which I actually do really love. I can't wait to see the back of this to see how that translates to the back. Um, under bust darts, uh, but um, under bust band. The fitting on these, even the last dress, is exceptional. They're, they really nailed the fit on both of these. These can go wrong really easily. But um, this one has a facing, so there's no waistband on the skirt, and there is one on the pants. And then the skirt has lots of different um, seams, maybe just three. I think center front, two side seams. I mean, I'm sorry, center front, two side fronts, and then side seams. So there's a lot of seaming going on in here for sure. Um, yeah, the pants are cute. The pants are... I mean, I don't know. Not my style, I guess. Oh, here's the back. Okay, cool. Um, so you do have the separating zipper. This is how your banding translates in the back. Um, so, yeah. I guess I kind of wish this scooped around to become part of that, like, holstery looking. I don't know. Um, and then as it's supposed to be invisible back zipper execution, not that great considering it's Vogue, but maybe it was done in haste. We've all been there, right? All right. So there's the back of the skirt. Here's the back of the pants. Um, yeah, pretty standard trouser here. There might be a little bit of extra fabric through here. Like she's going to get a wedgie at any moment. Um, just it's a it's a flatter uh, crotch curve in the back than what she needs. She needs something a little bit more angled. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, 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 yeah. I get the vision. Um, you know, I, and again, I think people are going to be really drawn to this. Um, I don't know why I'm not getting super excited over these. I think. Normally, I'd be like, oh my god, this is amazing. I guess because maybe I just feel like we've seen this still. Like, I don't know, I've been on Etsy a lot lately, and there's tons of Etsy sellers doing stuff like this. Granted, the finishings wouldn't be the same, but... 
Plus, where am I going to wear that? Maybe that's also why. Like, where am I going to wear a crop top and a skirt? Certainly not to Target, which is like my baseline for <laughs> is this too dressy or not? Um, close fitting. Okay, we already read all of that. So pockets are Ankara. Now that actually would be exceptional. Um, broadcloth, heavy satin, linen, sateen, and twill. Lining fabric. And then you have your interfacing as well. So it only looks like a little itty bit of lining, um, which makes me think maybe, I know the bra is fully interfaced, but is it fully lined? Yeah, close fitting, lined, fully interfaced bra. Okay, so yeah, four to 12 and 14 to 22. Anytime they're including the size four, um, I'm assuming they are, they are shooting, they're aiming for a younger demographic. Um, just because naturally like someone in their teens is going to be smaller on the whole than grown women who have, you know, gone through childbirth and puberty and all of that kind of stuff. Um, okay. A separating zipper that you adjust to fit. So that means you're going to have to like break off some of the metal teeth. That's, that's what they're talking about there. I guess they are, they know that a four inch, there's no such thing as a four inch separating zipper which is kind of mean. It's like, give us, make the top the length that the zipper, I don't know. Okay. Then one nine inch invisible zipper for the back of the skirt, um, a horsehair braid, a hook and eye. Um, and then for the pants button zipper waistband hook and eye. And then they did not give us finished garment measurements on the back of this, which I mean, this is one of the most important ones. This is so fitted. It even says close fitting. Anytime it says close fitting, I feel like finished garment measurements on the envelope is a must. An absolute must. Okay. Cute. Fun. If I were going to like, you know, the Maldives or something for sure. Um, here is a Mrs. Jacket knit top and pants. So now we're kind of leaning into, Lord, I don't even know what this is supposed to do. What, I, who's wearing this? A neon suit with a sports bra? Okay, that's a choice. I don't know that you're wearing this to the office. This is like a whole other element to day to night. I mean, this is like, I don't even know. I can't wrap my head around this one. Okay, loose fitting, unlined jacket, has peaked lapel, shoulder pads, front extending to side back, um, welt pockets, and interface lined two-piece sleeves. Pretty standard blazer happening. Knit crop top is self-lined and has bust darts. So it's a crop tank top. Wide leg pants, low rise, sit one inch below the waist with a fly front zipper and side front pockets. I do like the, the leg, the shape of the leg of these pants better than the red ones before, but where, where are we going? I get that like Target is my threshold and that's, a low bar, but even on my best day, where am I wearing trousers and a cropped tank top? I guess I'd have to live in, I'd have to have this lifestyle that, I, I, I don't even know, Miami, right? I'm, um, okay, I, I, I'm not going to work in this, right? Also, she looks young, which I guess, again, yeah, that's who's wearing this. Young people in, like, a big city, and they probably would freaking wear it to work. <laughs> Gen Z, right? Who can explain it? I mean, it is a beautiful fitting suit, um, right? I mean, it looks exceptional on her. Just the concept is just so strange. Yeah, the pants fit exceptionally. Thank you for giving me a back view without the jacket. Um, it's just an odd concept for all three of these things to be in one pattern. But you know what? I'm always asking for something different. I'm always saying, like, don't give us the same thing over and over again. And they have delivered here, right? Like, how can we reinvent the classic women's pantsuit? I know. Throw it on with a cropped tank top. And make it in neon on top of all of that. It's fun. It's youthful. 
I just feel like it's a very, very niche situation happening. Fabrics for the suit, linen blends, men's suiting, which why does it have to be men's suiting? Isn't suiting just suiting? Is there separate suiting for women and men now? No, that's odd. Um, seersucker stretch wovens for your little tank top, four-way stretch knits, 75% cross grain stretch. Thank you very much for putting the exact percentage on here. Um, and then lining fabric for the jacket and pants. The line, the only the sleeves are lined on the jacket. I don't know what is lined in the pants. Oh, maybe just the pockets and the waistband. Okay, so 8 to 16 and then 18 to 26. So we do have one size larger than we've seen so far. Still not giving us finished garment measurements. Which I get for the jacket, not super necessary. But do we have measurement body measurements even at all on this? No. They've replaced that with another explanation of the garment, which we see on the front page. I guess in the store you wouldn't see that though. I don't know. Wow. Okay. All right. So no finished garment measurements. Um, shoulder pads, buttons, elastic for your, I guess it goes three yards. So yeah, maybe all, all the openings get the elastic maybe. And then a zipper, all your normal fly front closure stuff. Okay, I mean, you get what you ask for, Lindsay, you know? Or be careful what you ask for. Maybe that's the better, the better term, the better adage. Let's see what else. We've got this Mrs. Top, another halter. Now, I, I know this is like a throwback, but I love a halter top with a collar. I don't know what it is. It just feels like such a sexy boss move to me. I'm a big fan of that detail. But this is a close-fitting top, self-faced corset waist detail with boning collar and collar band, and exposed separating zipper closure. View A has long set-in sleeves, ending and button cuffs with seam opening, and view B is halter style, has arms finished with purchase bias tape and a shaped hem. So this is, I hate this white zipper, but okay. Nonetheless, this is a interesting take on office wear. Again, it's a corseted top but it looks like your kind of classic button down. Um, this paired with the suit from the pattern before would have made a little bit more sense. Um, at least it's like a collared shirt. You could definitely wear this with that suit or any suit. Um, I think it's, I think it's really cool. I think that the idea of taking something like a like a collar that is so like, you know, professional and conservative and then pairing it with something that over the years has, you know, taken on many different forms in terms of sexiness, um, combining those two things is really fun. It's really fun. I like this. I like this. I'm not going to make this, but the concept of this is really cool and fresh, and I appreciate that. Yeah, not, I, mm, I can't do the low-rise jeans, guys. And also, are we going back to skinnies now? We just, we just finally got everybody on the same path that skinnies were out. Or I should say slim fit. Slim ankle? I don't know what the right term is anymore. Um, yeah, that's a really cool, cool outfit. If I saw somebody else in that. It's also kind of reading a little bit Caché. Anybody remember that store? Um, Caché, White House Black Market. That feels like the kind of woman that would be making this. Okay, here's the envelope. Um, fabrics. Broadcloth, cotton shirting, and sateen. 6 to 14, and then 16 to 24 on the size range. 
a ton of notions. So featherweight boning, separating zipper, buttons, and then for the top, the uh, halter top version, the same thing, but you would also just need bias tape for the um, a longer zipper and bias tape for the armholes. Finished garment measurements. Okay, so our waist, the corseted waist finished is 24 and a half up to 40. Because they're not giving me body chart measurements, body measurement chart with this, I have no way of assessing what that, I mean, I know what my body is, but what's the intended ease? That's the whole problem with getting home so as to make clothes that fit them is you give us a body measurement chart, you give us a finished garment measurement chart, and we know our measurements, like our own body measurements, but what's it supposed to fit like? You know, that's why I have like the fast fit worksheet to help you make sense of all of that. So, um, but I'm not going to be able to do that in this video because I don't have anything to compare it to. So I'm assuming one or two inches of ease in the waist, but I honestly have no idea. Okay. Okay. So... Next, we have shorts and pants, uh, pleated wide leg pants and shorts sit below the waist. Both bottoms have fly front zipper, button closure, eye waistband, side seam pockets, and belt loops and stitched hems. View A has cargo pants with flaps. Oh my goodness. Oh, and a rope belt just to boot. Okay. Okay, your classic pleated wide leg pant. They are serving us with three different pant variations so far with the suit pant, the, what was the other one? I don't even remember. We had like the low rise suit pant. Oh, the, the more cigarette pant uh, before that one and now this wide leg pant, all with fly front closures. So they're not skimping on that detail. This one has pleats. It has belt buckles. I'm sorry, belt loops, side seam pockets. All of that is great. This throw on a cargo pocket to anything these days. I'm not, I'm not, I don't get it. I don't get it. No Vogue woman is going to actually put anything in that pocket. Maybe the fabrication went wrong. Like if you could show it to me in a fabric where it kind of makes sense, I'd, I'd buy into it more. But look at this styling. Like, is she going fishing? Is that is that what we're doing here? Um, and then she has the rope just in case something goes awry. She's like, you know, prepared with some kind of safety mechanism. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't know. Um... I, I, I'm getting like, okay, beachy. Okay. I'm getting that cargo, you know, kind of leans toward like fishing. Is this like chic fishing? I don't know. I don't get that one, but the pants are beautiful. The shorts are beautiful. I just don't get the cargo. Yeah. Now this, the back of these pants might be a little too rounded, a little too close fitting for her. I feel like she needs a little bit of ease through here, but not as much as there was on her the last time. Nice, big, long darts, which is nice. Yeah, I'm assuming the waistband is curved. It's fitting, it's fitting pretty good, pretty good for a fit model. If I had a waistband that turned out that good, I would be happy with that. Um, this here is interesting though. But that could just be because she has one leg longer than the other. It's, it's you know, certain things you just have to kind of like, you know, give them and yourself a break for. Um, looks beautiful on this leg, though, that's for sure. Yeah, really pretty. And I think the fit on her in the bum is really good. Okay, here is the back of the pattern. Linen, tinsel, twill, and wool suiting. Okay, and then lining fabric. So they aren't even like, yeah, I guess they're just trying to make it more like a literal version of sportswear. Um, 6 to 14 and 16 to 24 on the side uh, range. That's a finished waist of 24 to 39 and a half. 
so that probably means nothing to you. It really kind of means nothing to me. Um, okay, now we've got a Badgley Mishka. So they're doing, they're still maintaining their collaboration with Vogue. They've also got the new collaboration at Joanne. Um, so they are really just, you know, serving the home sewist, which is really nice. Fit and flare, lined dress, close fitting through bust, has spread collar with collar stand, notch lapels, short sleeves, belt, decorative covered buttons, thread, carriers, sightseeing pockets, invisible back zipper, hook and eye closure. Note, raw edge collar lapel and hems designed for non-fraying fabrics such as scuba or fraying fabrics that you want that to be a detail. Interesting. It's a scuba dress. Okay. Um, well, um, it, um, <laughs> that doesn't feel very summery to me. That feels like I'm sweating buckets in this thing. Um, maybe like lightweight ponty would, would be a, maybe another option. You could, it definitely wouldn't fray. Again, like, mm, the design and then the fabrication don't go together. I don't get it. I don't get it, Badgley or Mishka. It is pretty. Kind of giving like a little bit of like maybe 40s flair to it. Maybe if it's like a summer, I guess I got to think about Badgley Mishka being like, you know, kind of high end. Maybe it is like a, like a evening, evening dress, but the white is making me feel like it's daytime or bridal. And then the collar and the belt and the double breastedness is all making it feel very corporate. I don't know, I don't know where we're going in this. Wow. Okay, so moderate stretch knits, 35% cross grain stretch. Thank you again for putting the percentage in there. Such as bonded knits, double knit scuba fabrics. Double knit could be interesting. Um, yeah. This, I think that what would, what would happen mostly is people are going to see this and they are going to think, oh, cute, a little sundress. And then realize there's no hymns and so they're going to be really confused um but again your belt is being made with synthetic leather for the belt backing so that's legit 6 to 14 16 to 24 on the size range the waist is the most fitted again 26 and a half to 42 generous hip and the bust is pretty generous too i'm guessing Okay, next we have, oh Lord. Okay, Mrs. Top, bias cut tops have layered fronts, invisible side zipper, hook and eye closure in back of neck, and armhole facings and baby hems. View B has back slit opening. This is just like the early 2000s I never wanted to see come back. I don't love a layered top. I It's, first of all, super expensive to make because there's, you know, two layers of fabric. And secondly, it's just, I kind of, I actually really do appreciate the shape of the arm hole and the high neckline. Um, it's just like... Again, I brought this up last time I was talking about this. Like, are we trying to make tunics a thing again? Like, tunics weren't great the first time around. Maybe if you have this figure, but anybody who is pear, anybody who is um, hourglass, anybody with hips, like, it's just not the best. You do have the option of the true halter top or the little slit opening, though. 
Yeah, I don't know. I'm torn. Maybe if it were like shorter, I would like it more, but then I just have like a flowy top and I'm just, I'm not doing the flowy top thing anymore. Am I just like not a Vogue girl anymore? Like am I, have I reached that point in my life where I'm just not getting dressed up at all? Or at least my version of dressing up is not this. Um, fabrics recommended are lightweight crepe, rayon chalet, silk broadcloth, silk sharp mousse. Um, 8 to 16 and then 18 to 26 on the size range. Um, you're probably going to use your bust to fit this. So 32 and a half to 49 inches on the bust. Finished. Yeah, like I said, I kind of, I really do like the neckline and arm side of it all. But after that, you kind of lose me. Okay, now we have this Rachel Comey. Save us, Rachel. Save us. Mrs. Dress by Rachel Comey. Um, A-lined midi dress with cutout details has neck tie. I'm assuming that's the same. That's just a typo, right? Semi-fitted, self-lined front bodice, bias back neck and back armhole facings, and elastic back. Skirt of the dress has lining, side seam pockets, invisible side zipper with hook and eye and stitched hem. Okay, this is feeling youthful in an appropriate, approachable way. Um, this, all of this is like coming through here, I'm guessing, and causing all this to cinch up. That's kind of cool and fun. And then it's, I think, intended to kind of fall off the shoulder a little bit, which creates a beautiful hourglass. And then you also have... The elastic back here. Now I'm not entirely sure if this is supposed to be droopy. Um, we'll look at the line drawings and see what they indicate. Um, or if it's supposed to be pulled tighter and st more straight across on both. I'm thinking the skirt maybe is supposed to be droopy and then the top is not. It is really cool and fun and interesting. That's for sure. Okay. I'm liking this one. I'm here for this one. Styling feels right. It feels cool without trying too hard. Um, yeah, okay, and like I suspected, the back is supposed to be straight across, so pay attention to that. Again, that probably has something to do with Vogue's just length of their bodices, um, and then the skirt is supposed to hang a little bit. This is super cool. I like this. Is this, this not two options. There's a seam there, so you could make it shorter. Obviously, that's an easy change to make anyways, but... This is cool. I love this. I typically do like Rachel Comey's designs, though. It's, like, simple, modern, chic, but still has, like, some... I don't know. There's something to it. Um, okay, so fabrics would be cotton shirting, linen blends, poplin. I think that's what they use for their version. Rayon Shelley. I don't know about that. Seersucker. Hey, Seersucker could be cool and fun. For sure. And then lining-wise, it looks like a lot of it is lined. Maybe that's what this line is. It's lined to here. Skirt of the dress has lining. That's all it says. So the top of the dress does not. Armhole facings. Okay, okay. So just the skirt is lined. And then you have facings for the top, but I don't know why you couldn't line that too instead of the facings. Okay, 8 to 16 and then 18 to 26. Um, and because of the design of this, that's getting us a hip of 61 and a half finished and a bust of 52 and a half finished. And then your waist is really, you know, sized by this elastic. So it is pretty forgiving in the fit department. Maybe this is why I like it so much. I just inherently knew that it <laughs> would be good for my figure. Um, yeah, okay. That's cool. I like that one a lot. Yay, thank goodness it wasn't a complete bust. Keep it coming, keep it coming. I feel like I'm playing that no whammy, no whammy. Okay, now we've got a Mrs. Top. Oh, loose fitting pullover tops with back yoke and dropped shoulders have collar, collar band, front placket with concealed button closure and shaped hem. View A armhole is finished with narrow hem. 
View B has long two-piece sleeve with button closure um, and stitch him. Front sleeve buttons, front sleeve buttons over back sleeve, creating a cold shoulder effect. Okay. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Okay, okay. This is an entire button placket. This whole thing is buttons, I think. Oh, we'll look at the notions, but I think all of this is buttons. Um, okay, so that's a unique way to, I mean, I don't know that I'm fully here for the cold shoulder being back again. Um, and again, where am I wearing this? This this to me feels really matronly, right? It feels like a very chic and cool grandma, but you know, somebody not my age for sure. Um, even this version. Um, golly, I want to like it. I'm trying to think if it were just longer into a dress. Would that help? I, I think that I think I'm having a hard time with these tunics. I think I'm just. I never really understood tunics before. I never thought they were very flattering on anybody. Um, I get the idea of wanting to like cover parts of your body up, but there's better ways to do that than a big oversized shirt. Um, so yeah, I think maybe if it were lengthened in like, you know, nine or so inches, a foot maybe, even keeping this longer bit at the back, that could be really cool. Yeah, I see how it's unbuttoned here now. That is cool. I do like that. That feels fresh. Um, maybe the sheer fabric feels like wrong too. Like they're again trying too hard. Like I like the look of this. This looks good. Yeah, I think it's just like the front tunic part of it. The line drawings even look super cool. Like, this feels like it could be a Rachel Comey garment, actually, if it were just longer. Just a little bit longer. So that would be my vote. I would for sure make this if it were longer. Yeah, and make it into a, a dress length. But man, that's a lot of work. There are lots of hidden button bands, um, especially if you're going to do it in these fabrics. Broadcloth, not too bad. Chambray, certainly not bad. Shirting's great. Linen blends, poplin. Okay, but hold on. Like, wait a minute. You're giving me like some kind of rayon here. This is freaking sheer. Where's the recommendation for that? Like you're not even recommending what you used in your sample. That feels, I don't know, misleading. I And I'm thinking about like the newer sewist, right? Who doesn't know better. And they're looking for something lightweight. I mean, look at this picture in the on the cover where this is like catching the wind and it's so beautiful and flowy. You're not getting that out of a broadcloth or shirting, or certainly not poplin. So that just feels like a miss. 8 to 16 and then 18 to 26 on the size range. Finished, I mean, it's a very oversized garment all through and through. So finished garment measurements are really kind of pointless right now. Six buttons for A and 12 buttons for B to, for the sleeve. All right, next. Give me something good. Okay. Classic Diane von Furstenberg design. Wrap front dress, have neck bands, hand sewn hems and sleeve and skirt variations. View A has three quarter sleeves ending in bands with split detail. View B has short sleeves and collar. Is this knit? I want to know that first. Yeah, moderate stretch knits, 35% on the cross grain. Matte jersey, silk jersey. Okay, so this is a Diane von Furstenberg wrap dress. These are universally flattering. Um, if you find, like, this pretty jersey, it is so comfortable. I feel like she sort of invented pajamas as clothes. You know what I mean? Um, this little collar detail is very much her. The sleeve with the slit detail is also something she was very well known for. So 
classic classic she's been making these for decades and they're not going anywhere um so fun to see this added i'm sure they've done versions of this in the past um but you know it works so why not keep coming keep them coming um i mean this diane made a freaking fortune off of this design so <laughs> no reason why we can't just keep releasing sewing patterns of them all right, so as we said, moderate stretch, 35%. Um, I, you know, I don't know, you do you, but if you're really going to base it off of the Diane, the DBF version, it is more of like a kind of like a silky slinky kind of fabric. Um, maybe even ITY would be nice if you're not going to spring for silk jersey. Um, I feel like cotton jersey might be a little bit too sticky and clingy like you really want something that's that's slinky okay and then i didn't notice this before but there's also a couple bust darts here and then you have the band so let's see okay interesting i was looking to see what the um notions were there aren't any um, which is really disappointing because i would want something in here to keep this from stretching out um, same thing in the shoulder, like some, some stay tape or something. Um, they're not giving us any of that. So, uh, that's a bit of a disappointment. Um, there is a little bit of interfacing, which I'm assuming you're putting in the neck line. Okay. But interfacing is not enough to keep these knits from stretching out over time. You've seen t-shirts that that get really gross around the neckline. You didn't want this to happen to yours. So I would look up some, you know, finishes, some couture finishes for um, bias cut neckband, it neckband kind of things, and see what you can find. But at the very least, stay tape, a ribbon, something. But I guess we're gonna keep it in the easy category, so. All right, next we have a Mrs. Jacket Tunic and Pants by Marcy Tilton. Okay. Marcy has never strayed away from her love of tunics. So for, for this pattern, at the very least, I can get behind a tunic. Loose fitting jacket has inseam stitched down pockets, optional bias facings, stitched or hand sewn hem, and set in two piece sleeves with deep turn back hem facings. Tunics have sleeveless or three quarter sleeve link option with self facings, inseam floating pockets, bias binding, and front darts. Pull on pants have oval pockets. Oh my goodness, that's so many words. This jacket is intense. Inseam stitched down pockets are optional. Okay, bias facings, stitched or hand sewn hem, and two piece sleeve with deep turn back hem facings. Okay, I got it now. All right, so starting with this, I guess this little, what do we get? A, C, D, and B. So we're gonna go to the line drawings just to make sure I can tell everything apart. So you have the jacket. This is the inseam stitch down pocket. Um, the collar on this is really cool, yeah. This is fun. It's like a handkerchief, but then you also have this kind of like stand collar thing. That I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Um, loose in the back, and then you have this little basic tank top. What is this? Is that a seam? Um, yeah. So there's a seam down the center front and right here. That's a very, very Marcy thing to do. Um... Same thing with the long sleeve top. This one has the deep turn back hem as well, but this one also has a little notch in the back. And then the pants are just elastic pull on pants. There are welt pockets in the back though. Okay. All right, all of that makes a lot more sense now. So again, here's our super cool layering piece. It's unlined, it's unfaced. It's, there's, it's like you can tell because this is like a, eyelid right and there's nothing under this this is just all hemmed it's just a lot of time hemming and the fact that they are even merely suggesting that you can hand sew this hem down makes me want to punch someone in the face but <laughs> you have options 
So that's that version. And then there's the top again with the center front and then this little cross seam. Again, very Marcy. Very long too. Um, I don't think this is supposed to hit anywhere. In I mean, I don't think it's just like supposed to be at your waist or supposed to be at your high hip, but I would definitely pay attention to the waist, like the horizontal markings of your bust, waist, and hip on this tunic just to make sure it doesn't get too overwhelming. Same thing with this top here. The sheerness of this top, you know, I got, the, it must be a fabrication thing when it comes to the tunics, right? Like, why do I like these? And the other ones I was just not, not excited for at all. It's got to be fabrication. Or Marcy's just really good at making them cool, even though they're freaking tunics. And they shouldn't be cool, but they are because Marcy's done it. Um, wrong side of your fabric is going to show on the jacket. Keep that in mind. This doesn't bother me too much, but there are some fabrics where I would be really be like, oh, God, that's so distracting. And then there's the pants. Are we going to see any more of the pants? The pants are a little... I don't know about the pants. The length is odd. I, get, I think maybe the length of them with the length of all of this but still also the length. <laughs> yeah, that jacket is super cool. Really pretty tops. I think this would be a really pretty like beach cover up too. Okay. So fabrics, cotton shirting, eyelet, linen, rayon bimberg. Mm, okay, that's specific. Rayon Shally, Seersucker, Silks and Silkies. And then B and C have some kind of lining to them. Uh, the For the facings, maybe? I don't know. And then no finished garment measurements. But all of her stuff is usually pretty, as you can see, loose fitting anyways. So um, a little bit forgiving in the fit department. I don't know that I would wear all these things together. Like this is not an outfit I would wear, but I would certainly take pieces and parts of it and I can see myself wearing it certain places with certain things. Okay. Now we have this skirt. It's a lot of skirt. Asymmetric ruffled skirt has invisible back zipper, side seam pockets, baby hems, and length variations. Very Vogue, right? Um, okay, so waistband, gathered skirt, and then this enormous ruffle. It is a ruffle and not a flounce. I don't think you could fit that on fabric if it were a flounce. This is definitely some kind of like, you know, not drapey fabric, very structured. This is a little bit more draped to it, which is why it's falling in on her body a little bit more. It's cool. It's fun. I want to go dancing, you know, like flamenco style. I want to like kick it up and twirl around and stuff. I don't know about going to Target in this, but I do think that them pairing these skirts with just basic knit tank tops was the right move. Um... Kind of balancing it out. The high heels, I haven't worn a stiletto in years and I don't plan on going back. Um, so yeah, again, ooh, never mind. That is not cute. That is not cute. That makes her bum look enormous. And I already have a bum that looks enormous, so I don't need one to make it look even more enormous. That one's better. Okay, so the the satiny taffeta, you know, dupioni of it all, probably, I don't know about that, in terms of how the back of the skirt is drafted. Almost because it, like, here, I'll show you. Because it's, like, um, pulled in here, right, for her waist, which is flattering and great. And then it comes out here, but it's not A-line enough. Like the gathers are almost being pulled in a little bit. So it's creating this like, you know, bubble for her bum. So maybe just paying careful attention that, you know, that doesn't. Yeah, 
even I, maybe now that I'm looking at it, it even is like a little bit of a straight. I would I would maybe even kick it out some just to help with that illusion a little bit. Yeah, see how this one's kind of coming out a little bit more. It's not much, but and it's probably the same pattern piece. I don't. Yeah, it's got to just be the fabric there, or maybe even the execution of adding those gathers to it. How much fabric? Oh my good gracious. The long one be six, almost six yards. The fact that you can even make this out of 45 inch fabric is pretty impressive actually. Um, so Ankara, chambray, linen blend, satin, taffeta. I mean, try it out of something really drapey. That could be kind of cool too. And then finished waist is 25 and a half to 42 for our 8 to 16 and 18 to 26 size range. Not for everybody. I can see it for an event. I could see it for someone whose lifestyle is, you know, you do special things. Um, I would like to see it. I'd like to see a casual version of it somehow. I'm just other than fabrication. There's no really other way to do that. So. All right, now we have, okay, Tom and Linda. They've been around for years. This feels a little bit plain for Tom and Linda, no? Underlined, lined dress. Good grief. Close fitting through bust has side and princess seam pleats, side seam pockets, lingerie guards, which are bra carriers, ruffled petticoat attached to the lining and invisible back zipper with hook and eye closure so a very unassuming denim dress oh it's not denim oh gosh i thought it was like chambray but it's not it's um oh is this jacquard no i don't know what it's called that's beautiful that is stunning if you have a wedding uh to go attend um this is really 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 pretty you guys all agree with that, right? Um, I think you have these princess seams that open out into this. You're maintaining that full skirt with the petticoat underneath. Beautiful neckline. Like, absolutely stunning neckline. This is really pretty. I have nowhere to wear this, but I want this just in case. You know, kind of thing. Yeah, look at the line drawing. So classic, so pretty. Love this one. Brocade cloak. I've never actually seen cloak before. Is that what that was? Mikado Shantung. And then lining number one is for your bodice and your hem binding. Charmeuse and China silk. Ow. And then the second lining, your underlining, is in organza. And that, again, is keeping or creating structure. Then you have interfacing. For the bodice so the skirt is not lined so oh that's confusing because it says ruffled petticoat i don't like sitting on organza that feels uncomfortable so i'd want to put some another <laughs> another layer in there to make it a little bit more comfortable. I'd have to look at the construction to see what is touching my body and what is not. But eight to 16, 18 to 26 on the size range. I mean, individually, okay, yeah, that's a lot of fabric, <laughs> Never mind. Um, but you just need one zipper and one hook and eye and two small snaps for your bra carriers, that's it, okay? So um, in some ways cheaper than some of the other garments we've seen, even if they have fewer a fewer yardage requirement. That is so pretty. Love that one. All right. Next up, we have a little lingerie set. This is a Mrs. Robe slip dress, camisole, and pants. Loose fitting wrap robe has set in sleeve, side seam pockets, front gathers, bias facings, belt and thread loops. Bias cut fitted camisole and slip have narrow shoulder straps and bust darts. So the dress and this, I mean the camisole and the slip are the same. Just one is longer than the other one. 
semi-fitted pants above ankle length have elastic waist and then applied trim to all of them. This is a really pretty dress to like wear out to dinner. Um, you know, a Vogue, a Vogue nightwear set is just so freaking extra. But I mean, like, look at her face. She knows. She's like, I am rich. <laughs> oh, it's elegant. Yeah, it's really pretty. It, but it is what it is, right? It's not like, you know, anything revolutionary in terms of style and design. It does fit some people's, like, holes in their wardrobe, right? Like, if you wanted, like, a silk set, you could make your own with this. I just don't know, like, how practical it is for everybody. I'm going to go back to this real quick. This is a little bit concerning through here. Just a little bit big on her. Um, the bust art looks good. This is just maybe this bias binding got a little out of control, got out of, out of, away from them a little bit. Same thing with this hem on the bottom. That's rough. But that's beautiful. Like, tell me you couldn't make that in, like, red with black trim or um, black on black. I mean, that's a stunning just little dress. Okay. And I do like how the robe is, like, this shape, you know? It's meant to be wrapped, which I like. Oh, that's why it's called a wrap robe. Okay. Well, there you have it. Um, Charmeuse, Crepe de Chine, Rayon Chalet. I cannot believe they didn't recommend like actual silk. Um, and then purchase trim, 6 to 14 and 16 to 24. Look at all of these notions. Well, most of it is the trim. Never mind. And then just a little bit of elastic for the pants. No finished garment measurements. Yeah, it's really pretty. It's really pretty. No doubt about it. Okay, now we have, oh gosh, a Vintage Vogue. This is circa 1974, loose fitting dress in mid knee length, has square neckline, front button band closing, and wide front and back seaming, no side seams. Wait, wide front and back seaming, no side seams. Okay, above elbow or full length wide kimono sleeves with bands tie belt holds in fullness at waistline authentic blah 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 okay um wow okay look at that that's okay um probably not my choice to pick for a reproduction but it's cool enough i guess Square neckline button band. Let's see the. Oh. So there's no, there's no side seam. This is confusing. The no side seam thing is throwing me off. Um, just because I can't like picture that in my mind, like how that's constructed. Um, yeah. Okay. Soft or crisp fabric such as broadcloth chalet. Shally is crisp since when? Corduroy? How are those two things in the same? <laughs> Let's throw in some double knit, some flannel, gabardine, muslin. Just make it out of muslin. Sure. And then shantung. Like, what is that? That is like, that runs the entire gamut of possible fabrics. <laughs> um, 8 to 16 and then 18 to 26 on the size range for this one. And then you have your finished garment measurements here, which it seems pretty oversized. Yeah, I, it doesn't feel like you could make that very modern and cool. Maybe that's why I'm having a hard time. I also don't like it when they use, I mean, I think the old illustrations are cute, but I wish they would make a sample too. Just to see it on like a modern woman, you know, and also not a cartoon. Okay, now we have, this was from last time. All right, so now we've caught back up with whatever the last collection was. 
because um, I distinctly remember this little dress. All right, so that's Vogue Summer. Oof, what do we think? What do we think? What do we think? I, um... There are some really strong patterns here. Maybe not for me and my lifestyle, but there are some strong patterns here. Some of them, this this is like throwing me the, the freaking cargo pocket on these shorts is just really weird. <laughs> but overall, oh, the tunics are back. I don't know. It's hit or miss. I feel like it's a very polarizing collection for me personally. Either I, I can really get behind it, like the DBF um, knockoff and the Rachel Comey dress, or it's just like, uh, meh. It's it's not love or hate. It's love or like. Not not even love or like. It's like love or indifferent. Which that might even be worse than hate. <laughs> I don't know to have no feeling about it. I don't know. Um, but I want to know what you guys think. Leave your impressions in the comment section below. Otherwise, that's going to do it for me on the big four, five, six, seven um, collection until we start getting some more summers. Um, so hopefully that'll be coming since summer is around the corner. But I'll see you guys soon. Bye.